You can or you can't. Either way, you're absolutely right. What's going on, everybody? It's Marcus, a.k.a. DJ Nova. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Your words have power. We've talked about this before. You know this. Even animals know this. Simply by the tone of our voice, they either cower in the corner or they come to you, you know, lovingly, some tails wagging, what have you, right? So how much more so when we speak to those around us, our tone, words we say, how harsh it is, the inflection of it, all of that stuff, those individuals can sense and pick up on that, right? So your words have power. They can tear down, they can build up. We think of how we talk to children. We've mentioned that before. If they can pick up on it, your praise or your criticism, your sarcasm, your tone or your voice. Studies have shown that the differences in individuals and in how they either received love or didn't receive praise, those individuals sometimes become bullies and so on and so forth. We know that, right? Now they got all kind of different names from it for depending on where you're from. Bullying, harassment, and no, it's not harassment, it's harassment. So I encourage you, what is it you're saying? How are you saying it? Who are you saying it to? I've given it and I've been on the receiving end of it from the time I was probably in third grade all the way up into high school. You can give criticism and not necessarily be cruel in how you give it. So what are you saying? Your voice, the right voice, has to be louder than any other. Your voice in your head has to be louder than any other outside influence that comes in and tries to tell you that you can't do this or you can't do that. Again, you can or you can't. Either way, you're right. This has been A Minute with Marcus. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know somebody that can benefit from this video, please give it a thumbs up, tag the minute or share it with them. We will talk to you next time. Peace.